Hello there. Uh, I just thought I'd give another recap since we're uh, getting times passing by before we even, before you know it, a week gone past. Today is May 14th. I arrived officially on May 3rd, May 2nd, May 3rd, can't remember. Everyone else got here, all the other rookies got here on the 6th of May. And it's been great to meet everybody. The COVID regulations are still in place, so we're not really affiliating with other crews too much. I've got like this, uh, my crew is an 18 pack, and then we're split up into three trucks. So um, we have like a pod of six people. So those who are kind of like hanging out with, you get to obviously chat and see people, but um, you know, like, close physical contact is more with your pod so tent still looks the same pretty much sleeping bag boots are getting used so we've been doing you do um you do like three days on one day off so this is the second shift uh tomorrow is friday or all friday since you have three days here everyone just goes by Monday, Wednesday, Friday is your schedule. So, yeah, third day of second shift. Pretty exciting. Definitely seeing pretty, like, regular improvement, which is dope. It's hard as fuck. It, I walked 40,000 steps today, which is, like, 20 miles. Something like that. Something ridiculous. And, like, going up and down and with you have these heavy bags. I'll show you like all the gear that we have and a shovel. And I'll show you the trees in another video. Um, yeah, it's pretty wild, but I'm loving it actually. It's like there are moments where you hate it and you want to quit, but then you think like, well, what else would I be doing? Fuck all. So yeah, this is my life. Uh, it's currently raining. I'm hoping that does it stops by tomorrow, but you never know. Um, won't be the end of the world. First rain day. Apparently, it's like a. It's, yeah. Five to ten minutes. What? Oh fuck yeah! Awesome. We've got laundry day coming up. That's exciting. So. Yeah, clean clothes. That'll be nice. I've been wearing the same couple pairs of socks for a while. <laughs> Got so in the smell. Um, yeah, weather has been good. Cold in the morning and then heats up really hot during like 2, 3 p.m. and then cools right back down. So I sleep in, this is like a zero degree sleeping bag. Celsius, zero degree Celsius. And then usually I sleep in like, I'm fine. And then in when I go to sleep and then I wake up at like 4 a.m. freezing my nuts off. So I have to put like another jacket on or something. But uh, yeah, I usually just sleep in like, just like this thermal thing. And like this minus the shoes. Sometimes I sleep in socks, sometimes I don't, just depends. Um, so that's really important, you know how I sleep. Um, yeah, but like socially, it's been awesome Me meeting lots of people. And there's a lake, really cool lake nearby. It's beautiful and swimming. It's freezing, but you know how we do. Wim Hof, Wim Hof that shit away. And yeah, that's kind of all I have to report. Yeah, the planning itself is hard fucking work, but teaches you a lot about yourself, I think. It's cool you get to see daily improvement. So like the first time we went out was like a half day. I like planted like 300 trees. The next day I planted like 685. The next day 865. And then today I did uh, 1100. Pretty much on the dot. 1095, but basically 1100. So tomorrow hopefully 1200. So. Yeah, 1,500 trees in the ground is like 
200 bucks. So, not bad. Um, but you're also getting like really good food, campsite for free. Um, so it's kind of more than that. It's like amenities, plus amenities. So, and then I also got paid like eighteen hundred dollars at the start of the season for some reason that everyone got. For some, so, but yeah, we're still we're still kicking. Um, and trying to do yoga regularly definitely feel the like repetitive stress. Like I do not want. There's this thing called the claw, and you're like because you like have to hold your shovel, with, obviously like all day like this. And there's a thing called the claw where your hand like literally like closes up and like forces your like this kind of like, couple tunnel. So I've been trying to do a lot of like extension exercises, but we'll see. And then obviously just low, lower back stuff. You're bending over a lot knees i don't feel like i'm taking too much of a beating i feel like um coming into the season in good shape was like super important uh, especially for injury prevention there's already a guy i know who's on my uh crew who had like pretty serious ankle sprain it's been swollen for the last like two days probably like torn some ligaments so yeah you gotta be careful in the bush and well he was doing it just fucking around camp so it sucks but um Got a beer, sh beer shipment. Um, right through here. There's my laundry bag. Beer. The rest of my clothes. Um, <laughs> yeah. So the trees we're planting are a mix of pine and fir. And it's obstacle planting. Which means you have to plant like close to an obstacle so the firs are the main ones you have to worry about because they need shade to grow so you have to plant them within like a shovel length of away from a, a tree or a stump and you have to face and they have to be facing northeast so like every morning you have to like orient yourself okay sun rose over there that was north okay that was northeast and then by like the afternoon, your shadow is pointing northeast, so it gets really easy, and you just put the, the trees in the shadow. But yeah, the cre the uh, soil's been really good where we've been. But then today we went to another part of the block, and it was fucking terrible. It was like rock, rock. You like get this jolt in your arm because you're just like kind of probing around. You just poof, poof, poof. you just send shock waves up your shoulder and and wrist. It's not fun. Uh, so I'm hoping maybe the rain will soften things up. Who knows? Um, yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. As far as the work, like the work site itself is like 45, 50 minutes away down a logging road. Um, so yeah, every morning breakfast is like 6.30 a.m. So I wake up around 6.15, slowly crack myself out of my sleeping bag when it's freezing it just like takes a lot of mental power that's like the, the first mental battle is just getting up and then yeah you have a breakfast where you try to just smush as much food as you possibly can which sucks I, i'm not a big fan of like having a really big breakfast in the morning but you're expending like three four th probably like four thousand calories in a day so you need as much as you can get and the food is amazing like the bre fully cooked breakfast um, the lunches are like made for you and then dinners are like huge like tonight was pork chops last night was like salmon and like lasagna and stuff and you can pretty much just go back for seconds and just eat it, eat whatever you want and then they have like snack stuff they have like bananas and fruit and yogurt and yeah like a bunch of other stuff you can get pretty much any time um so yeah i'm eating, eating well the showers are really nice warm which i was pleasantly surprised by um yeah the, this is the work is just the just to grind mentally and physically and it's like i know i can do it like it's obvious like you have the men i have the mental and i have the physical ability but Man, it's, 
it's uh it gets hard when you have like yeah you're loading up with like 300 trees you're constantly like you're basically doing a lunge and a squat and then like shoving your shoulder and like with your shovel into the ground digging and then placing the tree into the hole and then kicking it shut with your boot so your left leg or right leg whatever you use to kick is like getting worked so it's just like the repetitive stress is just uh imminent um like even now i can feel my hand getting cramped i'm, try I'm just gonna switch here um hygiene wise things are pretty good like i said showers work toothbrush toothpaste still brushing my teeth when i remember no like re relative like at least once a day which is pretty good in the bush come on um trying to think of anything else no i don't really yeah i don't know yeah, meeting lots of cool people. Elliot's the man, and my little sensei, and Felix, his friend from first year. Um, yeah, they've been great. The mentors, like the vets, the veterans, have been very good at like teaching and kind of uh, providing motivation because it's a mental drain out there. <laughs> when you like look down and you have like, you know, four or five bundles left so the trees come in bundles the pines like a bundle of 15 and the fir is a bundle of 10 and so you go you load up and then you plant and you try to plant half your bag and then you plant the rest on the way back to the cache and then you like go and just load up again you don't really sit and like wait and eat your sandwich and chill you'd like grab like a cookie or like sandwich like bite three three bites of your sandwich and then you're on the move. So, yeah, refueling is like super important. Um, okay, I gotta go give my laundry to someone. Peace.